Like, college is stressful enough. You do not want to be in something, like a major, and hate your freaking life because, girl, you're going to drop out. Like, it's going to not be good. Hey guys, it's me Morgan and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be talking about a very hefty topic and that is choosing what you want to major in college. So some of my friends may be asking themselves, um, why would Morgan be ever talking about this because she changes her mind almost every day. I have not changed my mind in like a year so that's good. I'm already accepted into a college for nursing so that is what I'll be doing, nursing. Um, but I have changed my mind about a thousand times of what I wanted to do. It was always like a baker when I was little or a chef and then it was marine biology for like almost the rest of my life and then it was now something in the medical field. I always knew I wanted to help people but I and like or animals but I never knew necessarily what that would look like. So today I'm just going to be sharing some tips with you guys how I chose my major and how you guys should possibly also go about choosing your major. So obviously I think the first important thing to consider is what do you want to do after college? So basically what are you passionate about? You definitely do not want to be stuck in a job that you do not like so you definitely have to look for a major in something that you would want to do. For me I wanted to help people and I wanted to be in the medical field and every basically almost every aspect of nursing interests me and is something that I've always wanted to do so that is why I chose nursing but definitely do not choose a job if you are not passionate or a major if you're not going to be passionate about that major and that job after you graduate because if you're not going to like it in college you're more than likely not going to like it out of college <laughs> Another thing to consider when you are picking your major is what college you want to go to. So this is pretty an obvious one. If I was choosing between two different colleges and one of the colleges I really wanted to go to was not offering nursing as one of their majors. So obviously I would have to change my mind and go to a different college and that's what I ended up doing and I like the college that I'm going to way better than the other one anyways. But if you wanted to go to college in like a different state and things like that, I would look obviously for your major to see if they would have it there. And if your major was like marine biology and you wanted to do like tropical fish and stuff, you would probably have to look somewhere like in Florida and things like that. So that's always a thing you should take into consideration is where you would be able to do your major. Another thing that I feel like all high schoolers and even middle schoolers have experienced is pressure to choose something from either your parents, teachers, or friends. I don't know if you guys have this where you live, but at my school, we have this thing called career cruising. Basically, you put in like 60 or 70 questions and it asks you like, do you like to be outside? Do you like to be with people? Like basic questions like that that you would probably need to consider if for whatever job you are. And then after it asks you those questions, it compiles like, lists of jobs you would want. My top job all the time was a dancer. I do not dance. If you know me, I will not dance. I was in dance for like nine years, but if it's, I don't know why they let me be on the team, I cannot dance. Like I'd be the worst person ever. So I don't think that those are a very good way to gauge what you should be doing with your life. Personally, in my experience, I did get nurse, but it was always on the bottom of the list. Cause it was all based on like, do you want to be around people? Do you like people? Like things like that. It's like, you can't gauge what you want to do just based on like 70 questions. Like there's so much other things to take into consideration. So if you're being pressured by your teachers telling you to do those things, your parents wanting you to be like a doctor or something like that, you really honestly just have to tune that stuff out and do what you want to do. going off of doing what you want to do, you still have to take into consideration in the long run how much money you're going to be making, where you're going to want to live, and if you can pay off your college debt with what your job is. For me, as an example, nursing is a great job to be going into. It has a high job demand, you can make good money, 
you can travel, you can do everything with a nursing degree. So if you say you want to be a teacher, I have a lot of friends that right now are going to school to be teachers. Great job to go into, we need those obviously. It's known that teachers do not make a lot of money. So if you're concerned with not making a lot of money, take into consideration, am I passionate about it? If you're passionate about it, I personally would still do it. But if you're just like, eh, I don't know if I'd be able to live the life I want to live off of that salary. So then you might need to reconsider, okay, maybe I should choose something else. Um, also where you want to live. For example, nursing, they can be anywhere. We need them everywhere. But say you wanted to be like an actress or something like that, or like just like a world famous actress or something like that, you're probably not gonna want to live in the Midwest where I live. You're gonna want to be in California where like all the other celebrities and things like that are. So you're definitely gonna have to take into consideration where you want to live. That is a big, big one. Um, another thing, like I was saying, is you have to consider can I even pay off my debt like this? I'm using one of my friends as an example, I'm not gonna say her name, but she was set on going to a certain college, set on doing a certain major, was super, super excited about it, and then she sat down and she's like, I don't know if I'd be able to pay that off and then pass that debt down to her kids. Like, it's a lot to think about, and she personally did not wanna do that, so now she's doing something else, which is, why I'm sharing this video. You need to think about these things. You pick what major you want to do. You need to consider literally everything. And sadly, money is the biggest one. I hate to break it to you, but world runs on money, honey. I'm sorry, but that's all I got to say about that. I personally do not believe that as like a 17 or 18 year old, like fresh out of high school going into college, who, we've barely experienced life. How are we supposed to know what we want to do in college? Like, and for the rest of our lives, like that's such a hard thing to even begin to decide on. So I definitely would say take the pressure off of yourself and maybe even go into college undecided. That I feel like is like a big, no 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 thing for a lot of like parents my parents are like you're going to school and like decided things like that um and a lot of like other kids are like you should really know what you're wanting to do and i feel like a lot of kids who go in undecided are looked down upon or like just there for fun like no you're going in to figure out what you want to do technically as a nursing student for me I'm going in as a pre-nursing student, so I'm not enrolled in the nursing school of my college. If you're not a nursing student, it doesn't make a lot of sense. It's kind of weird. Um, so I could really change my major my first year anyways. So I kind of like that because, like I said, there's so many other things that are possibly out there too. I don't want to decide on just one thing. So definitely take the pressure off of yourself if you're not sure what you want to do. Something that I would stress that you should not do when choosing a college major is choosing it because a friend is doing that major. I have seen this happen countless times with people. Always ends bad. You're not gonna like exactly what your high school best friend likes in life. Do not choose it because your parents are telling you to do it, because a teacher is telling you to do it. You need to do a major that you like. It's pretty freaking obvious, but like, I saw so many people go in it just for the money just for the perks of the job, things like that. It's like, yes, you need to take those into consideration, but if you're not happy doing it, don't do it. And lastly, give yourself time. You're not gonna know right away what you wanna do with your life. It took me 18 years and I'm still not even freaking sure what if I, this is what I wanna do. So don't stress if you're graduating high school and you have not applied to any colleges, you don't know what you wanna do, it's okay. Just go back through those tips, consider some things, and then hopefully you'll be good to go. Like I said, it's not bad going into college undecided because then you're surrounded by all of these different kids doing all these different majors and you can learn so much more than you could in high school. All right, so I hope these tips helped. If they didn't, I'm sorry. Like I said, 
This is advice that just really, really helped me. I'm not in college yet, but this is what I want to do with my life. I've considered all of the things and I think that nursing is a good choice for me. Um, so yeah, I hope these tips helped you guys. I hope you have good luck in choosing what you want to do in college. It's a big stressful thing, but you get through it. My battery died on my camera, but yeah. As I was saying, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope some of these tips at least helped you just a little bit. Yeah, thanks guys. Bye!